Hey, Will. Hi. How do you pronounce C-H-O-W-D-E-R? The word? Oh, yeah, not the letters. Chowder. <laughs> How do you... What do you say? Chowder. <laughs> C-H-O-W-D-E-R. Yeah. Chowder. I'm sorry. <laughs> Are we reading the same... Because... I... <laughs> Okay, hang on. You're right. I'm totally right. Let me look it up. Let me, let me, C H O W D A D E R. Yeah. Like as in clam. Chowder. So chowder. Let's see. Chowder. Yeah, there's an R. That's ba- thank you, Jason. That was Jason. Chowder. Yeah, no, we, Jason, we heard chowder. you. Chowder. So we're saying the same word, right? Yeah, so chowder. So we're saying the same word, right? Chowder. Yeah, look, well, let's discuss this later. Yeah. Welcome to an all new Smotless. Smart. Oh, there's Sunshine. Oh, hi, Sunshine. Look, everyone's hatless today. Hey, you yeah. guys going to go play golf today? Oh, yeah. mini yeah. golf or big yeah. golf? No, 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 adult golf. Oh. We're going to play adult golf. So, now, yeah. see, uh, Will wore his golf shirt to the broadcast today. I took mine off because I didn't want to get any heat from you guys, so I'm in a little sweatshirt here. You know why? Because I'm not worried about that kind of shit, dude, because I'm comfortable with I am. who I am. Wait, wait, wait do you see my polyester shirt today. Lots of stripes. Is that true? Accents on the collar. Yeah, I, what I kind of What kind of stripes are they? Are they um... They're horizontal. They're fattening stripes. Oh, dude. I mean, you're not doing yourself any favors, and you're not stopping the chatter with that. No. <laughs> you think I should go to verticals? Well, I'm just saying, how do you feel about the chatter? Have you heard about the chatter? <laughs> yeah. There's been a ton of... Yeah, is there some talk? Well, there's been a bit of chatter. I need, just need to stop eating stop eating after six. I think I'd be okay. What did you do this weekend, Jason? Oh. So my neck. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> what? Um, it feels so accusatory. What did you do this week? No, I, I was very, because I, Will and I went to. Sean and I did two, we did back-to-back uh, dinner parties. Yeah, we were just wondering where you were. With your wife and without you. Oh, that's right. Yeah, wait, where was I? Well, Sunday night I went to the Ram game at yeah. SoFi Stadium. And then yeah. Saturday night, oh, I had to babysit Saturday night because um, uh, Amanda had a girls' night. And right. so we couldn't go where you guys were. How was, how was where I missed? Was it fun? Fantastic. Really fun. I'll bet. Really yeah. fun. And Sean, you know, we talk a lot about Tracy. Sean got to hang out with my sister two nights in a row. My yes, sister, Shanley. she's fantastic. Shanley. Shanley. Yeah, I love her. Immediate connection. Yeah, yeah. I know. She loves Sean, too. A voice she's... as low as yours, almost. Well, Almost, I know. Really cool. She wanted me to tell you, Sean, that for, for a little while, she was the voice of Jarlsberg cheese in the tri-state area. True yeah, story. No, she, no, she <laughs> mentioned that to me. True story. She mentioned that to me. Yeah, of course. So. Did she ever want to get into acting? No, was that that was it. The one and done. No, she just wanted to get into Jarlsberg cheese. I mean, that was kind of... <laughs> Topped out at Jarlsberg. That'll do it. You know, <laughs> she got some cheese. She's all good. So voiceover runs in the family, huh? She did it for a minute. My dad claims that if anything happens to me, that he'll take over my gigs. He's a love voice. Which is, by the way, kind of a shitty thing to say to your son. Like, that's what you're thinking about if something happens to me? When you die, son. Yeah. It's not, don't worry, I'll take care of your sons. No. It's, uh, I'll take your gig. Yeah, I'll take your yeah. gigs. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, that makes sense. Does he have a low voice like you? No. He does. Jim Arnett's got a low... Jim Arnett's a good guy, though. I'll tell you what. We haven't given you him You say any. that like you're trying to counter what you've heard people saying about him. Chatter. <laughs> There's chatter about that. No, you know what? He's the most equitable guy I know. He's a Boy, very... What a, what a lovely thing to say about your father. <laughs> what, a, what a sweetheart you are. <laughs> it runs deep. It runs deep. <laughs> it's true. Listen, we got to get to our guest because we have a really... We got a hot ticket guest hiding behind uh, oh. uh, something blurry. And we, we, we got we got a guy here. This is we, we got a guy. You both, I think, know, and I think that what as I intro him, it's going to give it away pretty quick. He's uh, he's from the New York area. He's from the New York New York State region. Andrew Dice Clay. He's got a size thirteen <laughs> shoe, according to him. He once got in a bar brawl with Vince Vaughn. Uh, he was brief. He was in Band of Brothers. Um, let me see if this helps. His ear was pierced by Harrison Ford. What? He's got his own Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Um, he once pulled an all-nighter with David Wells, who then went out and pitched a uh, no-hitter the next day. Is this James Fallon? Sean, you're right. No, 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 no. It's James Fallon. It's Jimmy Fallon. Oh, Jimmy God. Fallon. <laughs> Woo-hoo. <laughs> 
It, it is it is so great uh, to be here on the show. <laughs> NBC's done research and they they found out the funniest thing is Smartless. And so uh, last night I was in a laboratory and they, it mixed with my vocal cords. And so I I sound like this now and they, uh, NBC loves it. It's the new voice of the Tonight Show. And I look kind of a little bit like a little bit like uh, Sean and Jason put together, maybe, with Will. <laughs> yeah. And don't even really sound, I don't even really sound like Will. By the way, I can't even hear what the impression is. By the way, I love it. Was the impression close? It was pretty close. Yeah. And you do good impressions. Yeah, you do good impressions. For yeah, real. Yeah, mind-blowing impression. What's your best impersonation? Uh, you know, it, it's so funny because it dates me, but I used to do John Travolta from Greece. Yeah. That was my best one. Did you audition with that for SNL? Because don't you yeah. have to do one? How does it go? Well, hang on. We'll let him hear. He's warming up. Let... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just yeah, just feel it. Hey, you, you want me to come in? Yeah. yeah. I usually close with Travolta. All right, you want me to open? Like, come in hot. Like, it's, like, it's like Sam the Jews. I, I, swear, I swear to God, I can't even like, believe this thing. I mean, what's going on? Right, Sam? Uh, I can't believe like I'm in high school. These are what kids look like in high school. <laughs> like, we're all 40-year-old kids. Like, I, do you guys get the new copy of AARP magazine? I got to get my prostate checked. So I can't believe this. It's like, we're all high good. school kids. That's it's very good. Wait, <laughs> well, that's hilarious. Wait, Will, who did you say Jimmy Fallon got in a bar brawl with? Vince, Vince Vaughn. Vince no, Vaughn. I don't know that story. Tell me that. I don't know that. All right, so it was with it, it, me and Vince on the same side. Oh, all right. Because I was going to say, that's a tough fight to win. Because Bateman almost got in a fight with Vince Vaughn <laughs> yeah. years ago. That's a, true, <laughs> that's a true story, and I had to break him up. I would, no, I would have run, run away from that. Yeah, he's a, he's a big yeah. dude. He's yeah. a tough dude. He's a, big, he's yeah. a tough yeah. dude. He's tough. So we went out. He was hosting SNL, and we went to a bar with everybody, like the cast, and we were drinking, and uh, we went to Hurley's Bar, which is not even here anymore. I think now it's a Magnolia Bakery. And we went into this uh, bar, and I'm, in the, I'm at the urinal next to Vince, and he mm. goes, hey, Jimmy, Will is in the stall. Let's just kick open the door and just, like, fool around and just, you know, uh, surprise. Feral. Feral. Will Feral. Yeah. So I go, oh, hilarious. Go for it. So Vince turns around, he <laughs> kicks the stall open, whoosh, kicks it, and it's not Will Ferrell. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Just some dude. <laughs> you mother... Dude, they started throwing. I'm zipping up my zipper. I'm like, what the... F dude, we just started throwing punches. It was crazy. Oh Everyone God. got split up. I go, what in the world? And Will was just outside like, on his phone. He was not in the stall. <laughs> <laughs> just saying, my bad. Yeah. yeah, we got thrown out of the bar, and uh, I think we went to another one. We went to another bar to talk about it. What do you think? Imagine if you did that today, it would be just over. Yeah, yeah right. Exactly. You couldn't, Double cancellation. It, would it wouldn't even be page six. It'd be the cover of the post, right? It'd be the cover of the post for sure. Uh, are you kidding? They're yeah. waiting for that. Jimmy. Wait a second. Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. So many millions of questions. Uh, first of all, you're an all time hilarious guy. You're one of those dudes, man. I, you just always have made me laugh. I think you're super, super funny. And <laughs> you you kind of burst onto the scene. You came onto SNL. How old were you when you started on SNL? Five years old. Mm. <laughs> wow. You were five years old? A child, yeah. Is that the youngest cast member ever? Yeah, I was on, I think Eddie Murphy was the youngest. I think he was like 18 or something. No way. Uh, I was 23 when I got SNL. That's crazy. 23. And then how long after starting SNL did you get on Weekend Update? That was probably, uh, I stayed for six seasons, so I'd probably say three, th three or four seasons later. And I, did not, I didn't want to stay past three seasons. I wanted to leave the show on, on good terms. And where did you want to go? What, what ideally was going to be the next step? I don't know. Straight I, actor? Yeah, I think movies was in my brain. I want to be a, a guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought in my head, Belushi. Wait, you only did six seasons of SNL? Yeah. Wow, it seems longer. I know, it does. In a great way. In a great way. Chevy only did one, one season. No way. And Marty Short did one. Wow. Marty only did one too, huh? Yeah. Only one. No, where where's the where does the passion for uh acting in movies sit for you? I mean, you you're you must be completely satisfied with the with the upgrade that you've made to uh the career you've had since. I mean, that's you've you got yourself a nice routine. I love it. Yeah. I love this. This is I, I didn't even know this was an option, to be honest. So I wouldn't even dream for tonight show hosting. I, I didn't know this was a a possibility. So this is great. I get to do bits every day and yeah. dress up and act. I could do, uh, it's every day is a new, different, fun thing. Jimmy, how do you know you made it? Is it, is it the aquarium? Yeah. In the background. <laughs> He's got an aquarium in the background. Are you in Lauren's office? Is that Lauren? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I'm renting out Lauren's. It's like an Airbnb. It's like it's called Offy B and B. And uh, you share someone's office. You do, you look online. You'd be surprised. There's so many offices. And they just a futon or a pullout. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a there's a Murphy bed. That I didn't. If it could only tell stories, you know what I'm saying? Uh, of From course. From the 70s. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I'm in Lauren's office. He's not here. I figured. Well, you know, Saturday night he comes in late. He doesn't really come in during the day, so I just take it over. I'm not going to use it. You might as well take it. Why? Why use it when there's other places to use? <laughs> you know, Danny and Steve, they would use other places. And I'll go over to Danny's or I'll go to Steve's. And maybe Paul's. Guess which Paul? Paul Schaefer. <laughs> Guess which Paul? Wrong. <laughs> Paul Simon. <laughs> Wrong. It's McCartney. Anyway, let's play Guess which Paul. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, I, I love your show, by the way. And I know, I know this show isn't about you guys, obviously, but it, it really is. I, I, I've heard about it. And I heard how funny it is. And I go, I got to listen to this thing. It is unbelievably addictive. And I mm -hmm. love your wow. show. I love the, uh, the, the, the way you guys are interested in people and have a conversation and a flow. And it's fun. And I'm doing it now. And I'm actually telling everybody it is real. And it's so good. <laughs> I also know when there's guests that want to get out of there. And they're like, yeah, we got to sure. go. You know that feeling. Yeah. Go, yeah, let's just do another commercial for something. <laughs> and the commercial is funnier than the guest. But uh, uh, I actually was listening to you, and I loved this conversation so much, and I'm wearing my uh, AirPods. Yeah. I forget who the guest was, but you guys are so funny. And my AirPod uh, fell out of my ear. Uh, I think I have a, a loose, loose ear hole. Wow. And, uh, and it just fell out of my ear, and I didn't go back to pick it up. I left the AirPod in the street. What? And uh, is that true? Those aren't cheap. I know, but I, it, traffic was coming. Someone recognize me. I just mm -hmm. Yeah, how do you deal yeah. with that? You're you're incredibly high profile. What are you doing crossing the street in New York? Uh, do do, yeah, do, you, do, do you get do you get stopped left and right? You don't pay somebody across the street for Come you. Come on, what's going on? I do that as well, but you know, they're the ones wearing my Fitbit and all that stuff. So I get like, oh, got my steps in. Like, hey. Now, how, now how, how, how good are you with, you know, because everyone's got a, a camera phone. Are you, you pretty good about stopping and taking pictures or do you have a line that gets you past it all? I, I take pictures of everybody. I don't care. Yeah. Yeah, he does. I've seen I've seen Jimmy in action. He's very he's very. I'm the you same are way. truly a person, a guy of the people. You give a lot of time to people. People stop you, want a picture. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like every time. Yeah, and Sean's yeah. very much the same yeah. way. I do that. Um, <laughs> you should see. He's had, he does 30, 40 selfies a day. I actually him. ask to have a picture, yeah. even if they're walking the other direction. He'll, hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you didn't get your picture. You're trying to hurt my feelings. <laughs> you didn't get your. <laughs> are you trying to hurt my feelings? That's funny. <laughs> I remember uh, when I, I was in Lauren's office. And uh, Conan had just announced that he's leaving uh, late night. And in, I want to say, this is true, but I want to say in six years, he was taking over The Tonight Show. Like it was some, something weird like that. Like in six years, yeah. I'm taking over. So Lauren was, and I was leaving SNL. And Lauren goes, I, would you have interest in uh, hosting Late Night, taking over for Conan? And I was like, uh, maybe, not really. I mean, I don't know. What? I mean, I think I'm just going to do movies. And uh, Tina Fey was there, and she's like, You'd be fantastic. You're kidding me. You talk to everybody. You talk to yeah. people on the street. You just stop. You talk. You go to bars. You're Irish. You're chatty. Yeah. You're totally. This is totally a good job. And then, you know, six years later, uh, my movie career in the uh, dumper. Uh, uh, dumper. Mm, yeah. Sure. sure. Uh, yeah. Sure. Will had three callbacks for the voice of Dumper. And, um, <laughs> you, hey, everybody, it's me, Dumper. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's not right, because this is the voice of Dumper. <laughs> I've torn something. <laughs> By the way, my 11 year old last night, Abel says to me, uh, he, he and Archie and I were talking, and he goes, We're talking about middle school, and he goes, Out of the blue, he kind of thinks for a second, and he goes, Middle school sucks. <laughs> Hi. That's my best friend, Gordon. He's kind of a dork, and so am I. And this is the story of my kind of terrible life. Like, he did an intro <laughs> for a fake movie about a middle schooler. Unprompted, just sitting in the back seat. Unprompted, out of, That's out of the blue. It was so funny. That's I was really like, funny. <laughs> Was Abel, who sat behind the desk when he was a baby at my, at my That's show? That's Archie. I, I got a picture of Archie at the old late night uh, with Jimmy and and. I'm under the desk holding Archie's, what, maybe a year? Baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, total baby. And I'm <laughs> holding him in place, and Jimmy's sitting in the guest chair laughing, <laughs> and Archie's in the host behind the desk in Jimmy's chair. It's so great. It's such a great pick. And we will be right back. And now, back to the show. Hey, Jimmy, let me ask you something. Do you feel like, because you work more than anybody, I, I just... 
I, there's got to be some days where you're just like, I cannot do this. Like, how do you get through those rough days? At this point, I think I'm over. I mean, you just, you don't get sick. I mean, I'm, I actually, it's just, I, I look forward to it. I actually still enjoy it. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm still at the years where I, I'm actually curious and I know that every day will be a little different. Something will be, it's actually perfect for me. Yeah. Perfect for my brain because it's not the same people. And what's the schedule? Do you, you take, uh, is there a, 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 a pattern that you take off every single month or is it? Um... It changes, you know, it's like, uh, you, you, but I think we probably do 200 something shows a year. <laughs> that's part of, that's the country. It's crazy. Here's what blows my mind. Uh, when, when, when Will and Grace did that reboot in, I don't know, 2017 or something, we, you were kind enough to have us on your show and we did this huge musical number. And this is what blew my mind. I sh we showed up and you walked onto the stage and you were like, great, everybody ready? Great, let's do it. And you knew it like in one rehearsal, you're like, got it, everybody good? Great. And I was like, how can he, how does your brain work where you do one run through of a huge fucking thing and you're like, great, got it, on to the next. It's unbelievable to watch. I think that one too, I think we probably rehearsed but maybe before you guys got there just to make sure because you were, that was a big get for us. But still. But that was a fun bit too. Well, it should be. It was, it was a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> but we did love it. But, you know, we like to take big swings. And, and, you know, I think from Saturday Night Live, you just know that when the light turns on, you got you to gotta yeah. do it. Or, and the show goes on. But your brain must be, like, in that mode of, like, just um, one step ahead of everybody that, that you're working around just so you can stay, stay on your toes and, and, and think about what's coming next. I mean, you must have your, – your brain must be trained to think that way, Yeah. I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. That's it, me neither. I was listening. Wow. I was listening in there. Let me ask you this: is there is there an opposite that you that you have to go to to balance it out? Like, do you ever get super quiet for a day or two? Like, what do the weekends look like? Yeah, I mean, the, well, weekends are kids, you know. Lots of I have two little girls now. It's like so, I, but uh, yeah. Anytime, I mean, my favorite thing to do is do not nothing at all and just not. Mm -hmm. uh, I love hanging out with my wife, and uh, you know that 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 was a good call. Um, and, uh, so I, by, I, I really, wait, wait. by the way, it'd be so great, like an anniversary dinner and like you guys, just the two of you, you look up and you're just kind of eating, having a nice glass of wine and you look up across the light candlelight and you just go, Hey, I just wanted to say this was a good call. <laughs> <laughs> it's not too not too far from what happens but i i do uh, i i do like that you know i just uh quiet you know uh is is my favorite i can do that and i'm very I, i'm very happy doing nothing i'm not an adventurous really crazy i have to be out all the time i don't really like more than four people at a dinner yeah right that's mm -hmm. a good rule what about the kids do they do they give you room for that or are they always like let's go day let's go let's go let's go F funny face get on the floor on your knees let's play yeah yeah, I let the nannies raise them. I haven't seen my kids in three years, but they uh -huh. send me uh, pictures and stuff, and they're well fed. And oh, that sounds nice. Uh, there's okay. FaceTime. Yeah, and they're like they're learning like some new type of like jujitsu. Uh, like huh. uh, it's like a new thing. It's like or, uh, are yeah, they here in the country? Sorry, I should we should. Are they actually in the U.S.? What, what do you what do you call the country? Okay, good. Um, continental, <laughs> continental U.S. Continental U.S. We're gonna. Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, no. Okay, no. Okay. And, no okay. That's what you're wanna, saying, yeah. Are they in any of the territories? <laughs> 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 well, listen, if you have a risk board, I can show you exactly where they are. Who's tonight's guest? Uh, tonight's guest is a, we're doing a fun bit tonight. We didn't tell anyone, but uh, tonight's guest is Will Ferrell. But yeah. the real truth is uh, Jimmy Kimmel's guest tonight is Ryan Reynolds. But uh, we're, we're doing a trick and Ryan Reynolds is coming on my show and Will is going on Jimmy Kimmel. You guys. I mean, as they come out? Yeah, oh, so no great. one knows. No one knows that Ryan's coming out, and and, yeah, uh, and Rudd is doing uh, Colbert. Yeah, oh yeah, Rudd is yeah. doing Colbert. Yeah, and Gal Gadot is doing Jimmy uh, or uh, Corden. Oh, wait, wait, Jason, how do you know all of Jason that? Jason doesn't know what he's talking I'm about. Guessing. But by the way, oh. Jimmy's looking up on the board. He's like, yeah, Rudd. He's got Rudd's schedule on the wall. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I do have Rudd. I, Rudd is coming on with with Will weirdly. Uh, soon, like next week. Isn't that weird? Huh? This might be a really interesting tidbit or a really boring one. Q. These guys, no, nothing. We'll wait. We'll so wait. Yeah, we'll I'm doing that. a play uh, uh -huh. that opens in Chicago called Good Night Oscar. And I play Oscar Levant. Oscar Levant was George Gershwin's best friend. And Oscar gets uh, ended up in insane asylums. And it's this crazy story. Addicted to prescription pills. An amazing pianist and super funny. And one of the Tonight Show's frequent guests because he was so funny. Mm. And Oscar, the play takes place 
Uh, and uh, Oscar gets a pass to come from the insane asylum to appear with Jack Parr on the Tonight Show. Mm. And then as soon mm. as the segment's over, he has to go back to the insane asylum. It's loosely based on a, on a true incident. But I don't know if you've ever seen Oscar on the Tonight Show, but he's hilarious. No, I've never seen that or even heard the story. He did the, he did the appearance and then went back to the in asylum? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my. And are you, who are you playing? I play Oscar Levant. The asylum. Oh, you do? Oh. I play the asylum. <laughs> and is that scene in the play? Yeah, the whole play takes place backstage of The Tonight Show and then on The Tonight Show. No way. Who plays Jack Parr? I, maybe somebody, but we don't know if yet. Oh, oh you're, you're in final. You can't speak about that because wow. it's a yeah. high, high profile person. I can do it. Well, hang on. Oh, I mean, hang on, you'd have to hang come on, in and yeah. read for the, but uh, I'm sure we could get you. Read for it? What are you talking about? I'm pretty much sure I do it every night. I mean, I could probably yeah. do it. But let me say, but the point of me saying all that, isn't it crazy that you are, part of such a gigantic legacy i know people i know you've thought of it and then people commented on it all the time but it's wild to know you and to know that you are have succeeded all of these huge iconic hosts of this institution and now you are one of them yeah I mean, the tonight show jimmy did you ever uh, uh, sean brings up a great point the oh, tonight thanks. show is the well you always bring up good points and <laughs> that's why you're the host just, of the year yeah. but but it is the gold standard right i mean it's the tonight show is the first one do, do, do you remember, did you have a moment where you, like, I, I don't know, went into a room by yourself or went to a park and went, like, yeah. or looked in the mirror and went, holy shit, I'm hosting The Tonight Show? How many hosts have there been? Is, are you five, fifth, fourth? Yeah, something like that. I think it's, yeah, it started Steve Allen, Jack Parr. Johnny. Uh, then Johnny. Uh, then Jay. Conan. Conan. And Jay. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> awful, That's terrible. And then me, yeah, sorry, yeah. So yeah, six, six hosts. Wow. Uh, it's it is amazing. I honestly, I never thought I would do any of this stuff. I never thought I'd be on uh, Siren Smart Live. Smartless. Smartless. Oh, Smartless. No, That's yep. you know. Yep. Never thought I'd be on Smartless. Still not sure if this is going to make any of it. You know, they, none of this is going to be on. You're going to have a new sure. publicist tomorrow. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the first call after this. I'll bet you right. <laughs> But I, I, I did, you know, SNL was like a big, that was all I ever wanted to do. That's all I dreamt about when I ever, I, I cut a birthday cake and closed my eyes whenever I threw a coin in a fountain. Come on. Uh, I always that's just wished. True. That's true. That's amazing. Uh, and that, that, was, that was it. And then once I got there, I go, huh, like now what do I do? And then. Well, then, th then can I ask, when you did your audition, I would imagine there's already huge nerves for that. But given that you were praying for it since you were a, just a little baby, how did you even get through the audition? Were you not just paralyzed? You auditioned twice, right, Jimmy? Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't. I, I auditioned once at uh, this uh, comic strip here in New York City at a, a comedy club. I went on stage for three minutes, tried to get into my John Travolta impression didn't work and uh i go that year <clears throat> they were looking for they they were they hired tracy morgan that year so uh uh we weren't really in the same running the same categories so that was uh, good for them but i was totally depressed and i was like well that was my shot uh but then i went back i, I actually moved to la for two years and i was uh i was uh, taking acting lessons but well, not really but i was paying for acting lessons uh and i was I, I, I did this thing. I took this uh, uh, this acting class, and I read somewhere that James Dean didn't ever get on stage and pr practice and really do acting classes. So uh, I didn't. I would never participate with the class. I would just sit there and watch, because like, that's what James Dean did. Like uh, thinking I was James sure. Dean. Yeah, sure. And then I studied with the Groundlings. I, I started working yeah. with those guys, and then uh, yeah, before I got the Groundlings, I got uh, I got the call to audition again for Saturday Night Live, and uh, this time I did. An impression. I did a bunch of impressions, but I did uh, uh, Adam Sandler, and this is at the time when no one was doing Adam Sandler. Like he was just left the cast, and so uh, I did him. And I and I remember as I was getting you get you're right backstage at, on SNL. You're actually in 8H Studio 8H in New York, where they make Saturday Night Live. I, I remember I took Jesus. pictures of the elevator because they had NBC carpeting in the elevator. I was like, if I never come back here, I want to show my kids, like, I was in the building. You know, and, uh, and I was so excited. And they came, uh, the uh, guy puts uh, hair and makeup. They go, hey, just let you know, uh, you're Jimmy, right? I go, yeah, they go, Lauren doesn't really laugh, so don't let that throw you. I go, mm -hmm. sure, that's fine. And then uh, I went over to the this guy's putting my microphone, and he's like, here's your mic. He's like, hey, uh, Jimmy, good luck, but just let you know, Lauren doesn't really laugh, so don't let that throw you. I go, Okay, and then I go over, they're about to announce me, and the producer goes, or whoever's bringing me up, maybe it was Marcy Klein, she goes, uh, just to let you know, Lauren's not a big 
uh, laugh or so don't laugh. I go, what is this guy's problem? <laughs> He's in the comedy business. <laughs> yeah. He should laugh <laughs> more. So anyways, I go on stage and I, and I do my impression. I did, and I did uh, Adam Sandler and I was like, uh, <laughs> and uh, Lawrence started laughing. He started laughing and he put his head in his, uh, in his hands. And he was laughing hard. Oh, that's great. And I go, even if I didn't get the show, I made Lauren Michaels uh -huh. laugh. Yeah. And I was like, the rest of it was slow motion. And I left, and I just felt like I just felt like I did a great job. That's and uh, so funny. that's great. Yeah, it was great. And then I got the call. Maybe uh, what's that? It was a month later or something. They did no the way. Time. Yeah, they made me wait. Yeah. So you must have thought that you didn't get it by that yeah. point. Yeah, I didn't think I got it. Actually, I was in L.A. I went back to L.A. thinking I didn't get it. And then Lorne came to L.A. He has an office in uh, the Paramount lot, which is uh, beautiful. I love that lot. It's so much history, and it's so cool. And, like, I went to his office, and uh, he said, uh, he said, Jimmy, do you, wear, do you wear wigs? And I go, no, I just kind of do this to my hair. He's like, no, 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 no I don't mean that. He goes, I just, because we, we want you for the show. Oh, that's and amazing. then I was like, wow. And I was like... Uh, I promised to make you proud, you know. I was like, I can't wait to do this. I was so excited. Wear wigs. I'll fucking make wigs if you put me <laughs> on the show. What you yeah, but he said to me, you know, he goes, he goes. Uh, then he started talking about the lot and everything. I go, I love it. I, I, you know, he goes, Paramount, it's a great lot. He's like, you know, sometimes you can leave it. You'll see like a someone from Star Trek having a coffee break or something. And as we were walking, there was a Klingon having a smoke break. <laughs> Yeah. There's a guy no dressed as a Klingon. Yeah. He was a, yeah. <laughs> it was pretty Hilarious. funny to see a guy in a full, yeah. I would kill to do a season on Saturday Night Live. Will, Sean, would, would how about you guys? I mean, let's do it. Would, wouldn't that would that not be a dream? Yeah, let's do yes. it. Let's do a season on this. No, just I, one. I mean, just one. <laughs> and you know what? I'm not going to be even featured. I'm going to be I'm going to be I'm going to go straight to full cast. <laughs> I just think that would just be such a dream. Let's make our goal now, to not make Lauren laugh. And I'm going to host every week. <laughs> Who you guys have hosted, right? These guys have. I I haven't. No. I did a good bit with Sean. Remember, we did our Jeffrey's bit. God, that was funny. I was crying laughing. Yeah. Me too. What was the bit? We should do a new segment called "Talk About the Bit." I like that. <laughs> All right, talk about the bit. You know, what like a was whole the new bit? podcast out of that. Yeah. Um, go ahead, Jimmy. I I went to this. It was based on a story. I went to uh, Barney's here in New York, and I went. And I walked in. I was getting a suit, and this guy was like, "You're in the wrong store." And I was like, I just want to get a, I need to get a suit or a tuxedo for something. He goes, right. Uh, you should go maybe to the second floor. It's like athletic wear. And so I go, no, no, no. I, I belong in this floor. This is like suits, like uh, Gucci and Hugo Boss, whatever it was there. And he goes, right, right. You're not on the right floor. Just go check out <laughs> athletics or go, go down. I was like, how? This is the worst experience. So I, I wanted to write a, store, a sketch about a store where they don't want customers in there. And uh, weirdly <laughs> enough, they were opening a store downtown called Jeffrey or Jeffrey's or something. Uh -huh. Yeah, 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 on 14th Street. Yeah, very snooty. So Matt Piedmont and I wrote this sketch called Jeffrey, and uh, Sean and I were the, were, the, were the workers at Jeffrey's. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, we didn't want anyone there. And then Will was the manager, right? Will was the manager, and I think what made cracked us up so hard is he had, he came <laughs> in, he rode in on a scooter. Yeah. Right? That's why I don't think he rehearsed that. So that was a surprise. And then he opened a cell phone that was the size of my pinky. <laughs> he, yeah. he, the new thing, he's like, the new thing is a tiny cell phone. And it was like, he, he used the, uh, uh, a, a loop, like a, what do we look at rings with? Like a monocle? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah like a yeah, monocle thing to look at his cell phone. That's the only way he could read his emails, <laughs> is if he used a, a, like one of those jewelers uh, loop the thing. And, and so he lost it. it. And I laughed so hard. Dude, he's so funny. That might have been the one. Did, did he levitate on that one? Did he have a jetpack on that one? <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, he had one where he was, he was, uh, he was like, "All right, guys, I'm, I got to go to Milan." Uh, Donatello Versace is calling me, and he had to leave, and he had a, he had a uh, harness on, and he had just run a marathon or something crazy. So he had all, he was cut up, all his crotch and his legs and everything was all cut up, his nipples from running a marathon. This is what happens when people run a marathon. And I remember him being in such pain. Uh, being lifted up out of that sketch, and once he was out of the camera frame, like him wincing, like, ooh, like it was like right. The harness was right in his crotch, and yanking him up, and like, bye guys, I have to go to Milan. And they <laughs> pulled him up, yanked him up, and once he was, his feet were out of the camera frame, I could see his face be like, ooh, yeah. gosh. But yeah. I, I love that dude. That dude is unbelievable, man. Will and the unbelievable. He the best. he is just the. I was so lucky. I got to work with the best people. It was like. 
everyone was so nice and and fun and uh, great at improv. And it was just, I was so, uh, I lucked out. Now, speaking of the marathon, do you do any of that kind of stuff? You do any of that, uh, you, what, you know, we're all of a certain age. So are you are you trying to stay ahead of things, keep yourself out of the box? Yeah, I, I don't know what to do. I would not do a marathon, uh, uh, I don't think. I'd rather just uh, root for people. Uh, yeah. But I, yeah. I, I think a treadmill, you know, I have one. Uh, do you get uh, on it ever? <laughs> it doesn't sound like you have much of a relationship with it. We'll be right back. All right, back to the show. Jimmy, speaking of marathons, do you have any kind of ambition to uh, match or beat Carson of doing it 30 years, The Tonight Show? Uh, I mean, what am I at now? Do it, do it, Just Jimmy. do it. Just do it. He's just challenging. Car- what are you at now? How many you years? You guys Carson? daring me? Yeah, yeah take beat, the challenge. Beat Carson. <laughs> no way, yeah, How many years? Yeah, I'll do that stuff, man. I don't beat Carson. <laughs> All right, let me try. Let me try to beat Carson. Once. Just try a little. Just try a little bit. All right, let me try. I don't. Know. I, don't I don't. I don't. I don't want. I don't really beat Carson. You watch. I'll do it first. I'll do it okay, first. You go. You go. You go. Yeah, yeah. You go. You beat Carson. All right. Let me. Let me. Let me just take it. Just a taste. Let me do it. Let me. You know, what, uh, Jason. I think the kids got something. Jimmy, go ahead. <laughs> beat Carson. <laughs> Uh, I, I think I'm doing it what, six years or seven years now. So that's 23 more years. Yeah. Good math. Wow. Thank you. So that would be 60 years old for me. Uh, I, 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 I could probably do it. Wait a second. What? Right. 60 years old? I'm You'll 40. S- oh, sorry. 70 yeah. years old. Yeah. yeah. I'm not good at math. Sorry, kids. Okay, still rolling. Oh. No, okay. no kids are listening to this, right? Are you kidding? Kids listen to our show to learn about math, Jimmy. <laughs> What? Christ. <laughs> yes. Don't you know that? <laughs> All that you, what? Yeah. It's, yeah, it's not a bit. It's re, it's insane. Hey, speaking of um, math, Jimmy, uh, uh, that's my jam. That's my jam. What is that? Talk about this. What, what are we talking about here? When I, when I say that's my jam, what does that mean to you? What is it? All the mini music games we play on The Tonight Show, but just upped and made it more prime time. Oh, oh, okay. Sorry. I, I got wrong information. I thought it was you. You were traveling through Provence trying different jellies and stuff. I thought that you were, because <laughs> somebody had sent me a teaser. That's, that, so that's my jam. Is, yeah. <laughs> that is something, from, that's something else my I've jam. done. That's I thought it was a sequel to That's Nacho Cheese. Um, <laughs> right, but, right. That's, that's my jam. Uh, have you guys started listening to Christmas music yet? Jimmy, what's crazy is that that song that you guys did, you guys did on SNL, that has become like a Christmas staple. Yeah. Dun, 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 or whatever, I'm doing it wrong. Yeah. Wait, Jimmy, how did that happen? That is so funny and so odd. Tell Tracy what you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, there's a song uh, that we did with Hor- Horatio and Catan and Catan, Tracy yeah. Morgan called Christmas Time is Here. And uh, it, Horatio wrote it. But basically, the, uh, someone sent me a tiny guitar for Christmas. Uh, my agent, I think. And it was this tiny little guitar they call the backpacker. Like I would ever backpack with a guitar. Mm-hmm. I don't know when you need it. but, mm. but um, When you're on the treadmill, probably. Yeah, exactly. So you're on, so I'm having the back. So they so they had this tiny guitar, and Horatio was just laughing at it, and he was like, "What can we do with this thing?" So he just started playing like, and then so uh, I had this keyboard in my office that had pre-recorded drum beats on it and loops, and so I just started playing the loops, and then he would improvise music, and then uh, we just started writing the song, and then we did it too many times. We did it probably like ten times or something, and. I was tick- I was sick of it by the end, but uh, the first few were great. But then Julian uh, from the Strokes, Casablancas, Casablancas, love. Yeah. He goes like, dude, I love that song. I want to do a cover of it, and so he did a cover of that song. It's amazing, and it was on the radio, and actually, it was on TV. It was on a commercial. I didn't know that. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's like a great. Toyota commercial. And was, so you guys were just kind of screwing around and, and made the song up, and that's how it happened? I mean, it, what, Yeah, but we have no connection to that. So whoever gets money for it, it's not us. It's even though you wrote it. For it. Oh, oh, I thought you wrote it. I did. Oh. But I just don't know. On SNL, it just gets it got blurry those those years. When you write the thing. So you just, never got paid when they sold it to Toyota. You never got. You never saw a dime. <laughs> no. Listen, who is, who's your attorney? Let me, I'm going to jot this down. I want to talk to you after the show because we're going we're gonna to take these fuckers down. Oh. I'm taking down. <laughs> this you. is going to be a class act. No, no, no. <laughs> Everybody's getting named in we're this. We're making friends everywhere. Who's the funniest person to you? Who makes you laugh more than anybody? Uh, I, 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 I don't like to pick favorites on that stuff, but... I know. Uh, One of them. Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell yeah. is always great. I agree. Right. I'll second he, that. he says yes before... 
We even sent him a script. He's like, yeah, I'll do it. I go, but have you dressed like little Debbie? He's like, I don't care. Let's do it. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, yeah, and what yeah. about, um, do your kids come to The Tonight Show and watch Dad work? And are they like, wow, this is amazing or no? No, they came once when they were babies because I, I just figured it would be cool for them to see the show. Uh, and they wanted to see Timberlake. And uh, that was yeah. that was like, yeah, but that was it. No, they don't, they don't come. But they watch every now and then. That picture of Archie that I have from you sitting, from his sitting at the desk with you sitting next to him, I just sold his NFT for $36 million. <laughs> wow. Just to let you, yeah, yeah, because I owned it. Mm -hmm. Nobody gets a piece, because that's when I sold the Christmas song to Toyota. They said, <laughs> you get to own all of this. <laughs> I can't believe you're doing, getting all of my royalties. It's, it's unbelievable. It's, uh, that's how NFTs work. Welcome to Ethereum, buddy. Uh, it's all the blockchain. I mean, I know what I'm talking about. You really do. Wait, wait, wait. Do you, your kids have any sense of... of what you do because you live in that such an adult world it's it's late night tv and comedy they, do they have any sense of that at all now and then they'll be like uh they'll be like uh you're jimmy fallon or something <laughs> right. you know and yeah. i go yeah, yeah. mr fallon yeah. to you like this, i go about yeah. your dad you know yeah <laughs> mr fallon to you but they go yeah <laughs> and then my my youngest daughter she goes uh you're famous i go she, i go uh yeah she goes but but not that famous <laughs> 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 who said that? I mean, someone... <laughs> who taught you that? What, you know, what kid in school? I, I want to find the brat in, in your class that said I'm not that famous. So guess what? More famous than her dad. Yes. <laughs> but honestly, I mean, you 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 are so high profile. You must every time you guys go out as a family, there must be at least one time when somebody stops you. And so, how do you answer that question from your kids when they say, "How does that guy know you?" Yeah, I. Yeah, I think you know, they've said it a couple times, like, you know everybody or something. They just think I'm friends with everybody. Yeah, huh. you're, like, you're like, yeah, I work at Meineke. You know what I mean? I got lots of customers. People come in all the time to get their cars. Yeah, work at the <laughs> Jiffy Lou. Meineke. By the way, I had... My dad used to smoke I like had that. my... Uh, uh, oh! <laughs> This is a true story. This little girl somewhere in North Carolina, she had, wanted, she had a Will Arnett-themed birthday party. It was on Twitter, and I retweeted it, and I, I said, the kids are all right. And she, so this girl, she had this party, uh, birthday party. She wore T-shirts with my face on and stuff like that. So first, first thing, I showed it to my kids. I go, check this out, last night at dinner. And they both go, oh, yeah. <laughs> Nothing, right? So that was the first thing. Secondly, then when you read the story, and I had a bunch of friends send me the they kept saying, and this little girl had her friends, in, and her friends have no idea who Will Arnett is. I mean, they said that at least five times in the article, how nobody knew who the hell it was. And I was like, why? hey, man, yeah. why you, you need to say that? You don't have to write that. You don't need right. to write that. That the headline is that she did it. She did it. That's it. That's mm -hmm. so. That's we so don't need cool. to go through how many people knew who I am. Who cares? I'd love one of those T-shirts. Yeah, yeah. I want one of those T-shirts too. Now the more I'm gonna get them made. I'm gonna get them. I'm having this girl on the podcast. We're gonna have her on the podcast. She sounds like a smart kid. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. I just made my camera blurry. Yeah, is this true? How did that happen? You got autofocus. It's on an that. acting thing. No, it's my face. I can. Oh, that's your face doing that. My face can be blurry if I want to. No one knows this. <laughs> no one has this acting talent. I can make my face look blurry if I want to, and it's tricky for directors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you control, because they're like, stop, cause do directors ever go stop doing that? Look at that? me. Look, I'm, the yeah. fish tank's blurry. I'm blurry. Everything yeah. in this picture, I know you can't see when you're listening to the You podcast, have a camera that blurry. has focus on it, though? I mean, like, mine, everything's in focus. And look at that. My hand's in focus. So, this is and me. so is my yeah. face. That's your, he's got an auxiliary camera. Oh, there you go. It's not, his, it's not coming out of the computer. He's got another camera Whoa. mounted. Oh, there it goes. Oh, now, now, there, look at, now oh, there it is. You now, need a new AC. It's all in the, all in the eyes. All in the eyes. Uda Hagen. And, uh, Jimmy, I was thinking about you, J you, Jason, and me had dinner. Sorry, Sean. Uh, you had already gone back to L.A. Uh, <laughs> this summer, at the end of the summer, kind of close to the end of the summer for us, it was our, la it was our last night on the East Coast. That was and fun. It was so much fun. We had so many laughs, and I always feel like every time I see you, we always start laughing. We end up like kind of at the end of the table just doing bits and screwing around. <laughs> the three of us were fucking around, and then just like, and then there are like 10 other people. We're like, oh, yeah, yeah, there's the other people. But we just end up fucking around the whole time. So good. I don't even remember who else was there. I know. <laughs> they, they're going to love that. No, 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 that's not true. You know. <laughs> no, we know who's there. Yeah. We know who they are. Kidding. We're not saying, you know. Yeah, yeah. We just ignored them. We just ignored them. <laughs> that's what you're saying, yeah. You were rude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. was rude because there were some heavy hitters at that dinner. There was a big, you know, right? There was some big heavy hitters. And the big topic uh, the three of us were talking about was get your ass on the podcast. I'm glad this finally happened. I know, that's Long true. Long overdue. Yeah. Long overdue. Long overdue, but Long overdue. I, I, I just, I'm such a fan of all three of you guys. And uh, Back it's, at you. it couldn't be funnier. And I, you, 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 when you realize how big uh, this show is and what it does for people and 
you're making so many people laugh and it's these times where people are going through so much anxiety and all this stuff. Really, you're really helping people. So I, I oh, really, likewise. This is a, not just me saying this, everyone loves you guys. I mean, and Sean is the best, but <laughs> wait, Jesus, yeah, that's, but, besides, wait, that's a known thing? No. We gotta go. Yeah. Really, we it's not, gotta thing. Go. not sure. <laughs> You should have just closed the computer right after that. <laughs> should have just shut it down. You just slam it. Just we could do something. It. We could do something different and actually talk about Jimmy in front of him, and then he could do the sign off, our famous sign off. Let's with do us. it. Oh, Let's yeah. do it. Okay, Jimmy, hang on. So this is going to be awkward. So, guys, how great was that having Jimmy on the show? Oh, so great. So good. You know, I love him. I can't believe the trajectory of success that he's had from when he was 23 years old. I can't believe he started when he was 23. I know. The greatest. I know, and I've been wanting to have him on for a while. We couldn't make it. We couldn't make his deal. We couldn't make his dates. He's a very busy guy. He does the show. Yeah. So we've been, this has been a long time coming, and it's one of those ones. <laughs> I knew that you were going to maybe do the show. I knew he was going to do it maybe even when we saw him, that it was a possibility. So I was just excited that he was on the show today. Yeah. Uh, I, every time, about- every I feel like every time I see him, he always makes me laugh. Never, ever doesn't make me laugh. He, he, here's the other thing I'll say about him. He's like the, Sean, and you'll, you'll attest to this, such a talented guy in the real old school uh, sense of the word. Yeah. Really funny, very musical, yes, a who, good actor. All yes, of those not things a lot he, of the people can do. There's like three people in the world that can do what yeah, he does. Yeah, like look at Jason. <gasps> Jason has half of those, like half of one of those things, right? <laughs> Jason hasn't said anything. No. Jason, what do you like about Jimmy? Talk about. I like that he can sing and he can dance and he can laugh and he can cry. Yeah, He's yeah. got a great wife. Um, yeah. and a great life, wow. and he's nice to people. He takes pictures with the public. And you know what? He pretty much ends the, his his show the same way we end it. By saying... No, Sean, Sean, by boy. Saying, see, this, see, see uh, Jimmy, okay, with the, Jimmy, at, at this, at this moment, usually on the... We, I know it's we, we, or something. We, yeah, we all yeah, try yeah. to think up somehow to wiggle in the word by into... Yeah, I got... But yeah, I've been giving Sean shit because he's ever. been trying to land it so, so much early. Sean's just so... <laughs> Trying to get out of it so much earlier in an inorganic way. Well, no, no, but does J- Jason, by the way, I, this is very awkward for me to hear the post interview talk. Yeah. But uh, Jason really nailed it more than you guys. Thank yeah. you. Uh, Jason sure. didn't say anything. Yeah, well, I just, I sit on the sidelines. He said, I, 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 I have a great wife, I have a great life. Ryan. Uh, I laugh and I also cry and I also. Bye. Oh. Bye. bye. Oh my gosh! We're gonna punch <laughs> that up. We're gonna punch it Can up. Can you? Yeah, no, yeah. no, we're gonna punch yeah, we're it gonna up. Pu- yeah, we're gonna punch that up. No, you want me to do it one more time? Yeah, sure. yeah. Do yeah. Hold the bye. Me, you gotta do, do the bye. Bye. Would you also right, buy yeah. by coastal? Maybe. Um, we use that one. We we have used that one, and I will say, just because we're still rolling. Yeah, you know, Jason always makes it like personal, but in this way, he's always talking about Ryan Reynolds. He was like, "You're a little angel who came into your life. Stop talking about other dudes' wives." <laughs> yeah, she's a great lady. <laughs> shut, shut the fuck up. It's really creepy. Stop saying no, she's got I, such a great wife. Gee, I'm gonna if I wasn't, I'm listen, gonna punch was, you in a half an hour. It was when a I good see call. You. you know, it was. What, what, what did he call? He it? does have a great. You do happen to have a great wife. Of all three of you, that Jason really nailed it because I have Jesus a great God. wife, a great life. I do like to laugh, and I sometimes cry, and I always, bye. 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 See you, dude. <laughs> Love you guys. <laughs> Love you, oh, That's a first. That's perfect. <laughs> Thanks, Jimmy. Uh, you guys Jimmy, are thank the you, buddy. You're the greatest. It was so hey, good. Love say, you. Love you, Say hi to that nice wife of yours, huh? You say hi to your wife. Down. You say hi to yeah, your wife. Same. Huh? Back, back to you guys. Wife. Back to you. Bye, 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 be bye, well, bye, be bye, well. Bye, thank bye, you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye, buddy. This is the after credits wrap up that he doesn't even know about, because okay. it's all we have to have our own wrap up too, you know. Yeah, you know, I have, a, I have a, uh, uh, a, really an admission. Sh- I admit, I, I, the other, yeah. the other night, I'm trying to fall asleep. I'm trying, yeah. you know, you try to think of things when you're falling asleep. How do you fall asleep? Yeah. I started thinking yeah. about different buys, and I could come up what what things Ryan yeah. would buy, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I came up with five or six things, oh. yeah. but I didn't have a pad of paper next to me, and I've forgotten them all now. So, oh. um, uh, what was the gummy load? This, what was the gummy load? Was the gummy load heavy? It was about uh, fifty or sixty grams, probably. Oh, oh, God, that's <laughs> are you an animal? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't do that stuff. Will, come on. Wow. Now. Yeah. Um. So, um. So that Jimmy Fallon, that Jimmy Fallon is he not, not fantastic? He is, yeah. Oh, yeah. he's yeah. just a pillar. Yeah. Always great. Um. Yeah. Just a real, a real treasure. Um, Will, thank you for bringing him to uh, to our show. 
Um, fucking Jimmy. That was so much fun. He's so great. And also, I, can I just say, I, I just want to let everybody know that, that Jimmy's new show, That's My Jam, is going to air January 3rd, 2022, uh, in its regular time slot, uh, 9 p.m. on Mondays. Yeah, there's a lot of good laughs today. Thank you for that. A lot of good ones. Um, I can hear you guys thinking. No, I'm not. No, we got it. Thinking. We're going to cut in the other one. We're going to cut no. in the other one. We I'm are. Say, what? No, no, but he, but it wasn't because, really good because he no, said, I laugh, because, I cry, and I always buy what? You, you, you got to have, the buy's got to have to do with something. This, it, thinking about this stuff is going to make me sick. I can almost taste the bio. bio. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Smart. Smartless is 100% organic and artisanally handcrafted by Bennett Barbaco, Michael Grant Terry, and Rob Armjarf. Smartless.